Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're going to be talking about this unusual galaxy that's coming into our view right now known as A2261 BCG. This galaxy, as you probably can tell from the title, is unusual because it doesn't seem to have a central black hole. Anyway, let's discuss this in more detail and welcome to What The Math. So this right here is, as you can probably see, a very, very large galaxy. This is a typical elliptical galaxy and is currently listed as one of the largest we've actually discovered. Now, elliptical galaxies are very unusual to begin with, but what's really strange about this one is that right in the middle right there, there doesn't seem to be any central black hole. Well, let's actually slow down a little bit and let's uh, first take a look at uh, where we can find out more information about this. And unfortunately, there isn't really much we know about this galaxy. As a matter of fact, Wikipedia only lists uh, this galaxy right here under the list of the largest galaxies as uh, one of the galaxies right here. Now, it tells you the size and it tells you the distance to the galaxy. It tells you the type as well. But that's all we really know about this except for the fact that there seems to be no central black hole. Now, how do we know this? Well, by looking at the central region of this galaxy, the scientists discovered that this bulge that you see right here is the largest bulge they've, they've seen of all of the galaxies. In other words, the central region of this galaxy is so big that it just doesn't make sense. If there was a central black hole, it would not be so big. But how is it that this galaxy is staying together? How is it even possible for it to not just fly apart? Well, I wanted to use Universe Sandbox to just demonstrate to you that a galaxy does not need to have a central black hole to basically stay a galaxy. As a matter of fact, if we were to go back to our own Milky Way, and then if we were to imagine basically erasing Sagittarius A star from the center of the Milky Way, what do you think would happen? Do you think the galaxy would actually fly apart and uh, become just a bunch of independent stars? Well, the reality is that it's very unlikely to happen, mostly because the actual black hole only takes up a very, very small fraction of the total mass of the central bulge and also of the galaxy itself. There are very few galaxies out there that actually have supermassive black holes that are a big part of them. Now, let's actually try to simulate this and see if a galaxy can survive without um, an actual black hole in the middle. And we're going to do this by using um, Universe Sandbox. And here is a randomly generated galaxy in Universe Sandbox um, that seems to be a spiral galaxy, so it's not an elliptical galaxy like the one you just saw called A2261 BCG. But we are going to assume that um, this kind of happens to basically any galaxy. So here, if I were to go in the middle, well, first of all, actually, let's accelerate time just to see if the galaxy stays stable over time. So we're going to make this run a little bit faster until you see stars move around. And it seems like the galaxy is sort of more or less keeping together. And most of this is because of two things. One is that this central bulge right here already has a tremendous mass. And just by itself, it creates a huge, huge, um, basically a ripple in space time because of the mass that is enough to hold the rest of the galaxy together. On the other hand, 95% of this galaxy is also dark matter. And it's really the dark matter that keeps it all together. If I were to remove dark matter, as I'll do in a few minutes, you'll see that it just flies apart. But will the actual black hole in the middle keep it together? Well, let's actually see what happens. We're going to go in and zoom in here and basically remove the supermassive black hole right there that's currently um, approximately 50 billion masses of the sun. It's quite a lot, actually, a lot bigger than our own um, black hole in the middle of the Milky Way. And let's run the simulation again and see what happens. Now, remember, the dark matter is still there. It hasn't actually disappeared. And notice what happens. It starts kind of uh, increasing the central region. In other words, the central uh, space inside this galaxy starts getting more poofy. It, it kind of expands. And this is exactly what we actually observe in A2261 BCG. Now, this particular galaxy seems to actually not do as well as I hoped. It seems to actually kind of fall apart, but let's see if it might stay together after a few 
uh, million years. And by itself, this actually technically might even create an elliptical galaxy out of the spiral galaxy that we had before. Now, here is an observation that is very interesting. Because this central black hole is gone now, the uh, central region of the black hole expands dramatically, becomes a lot less dense, and the galaxy itself is also a lot larger than it used to be. Now, it's not a spiral galaxy anymore because there's nothing to orbit around, and technically this is actually, from a distance at least, um, an elliptical galaxy. And this is kind of what we observe in a lot of galaxies like A2261 BCG. But most elliptical galaxies do have central black holes. This one though, even though it's one of the most massive we've discovered and one of the biggest we've discovered, seems to have nothing. As a matter of fact, compared to our own Milky Way, uh, well, let's just imagine this is A2261 BCG, our own Milky Way would be about 10 times smaller, so it would be only about this big, and it's about 50 times less massive. In other words, um, even though our own Milky Way has about 400 billion stars, A2261 BCG has something like 10 trillion stars in there. And as you can see, even without a central black hole, this seems to survive just fine, it just doesn't look the same. Now, we are not entirely sure how this galaxy lost its black hole. There is some speculation about it currently possibly having uh, some black holes in the middle or possibly just having diffuse black holes. And there's also some theories that su suggest that maybe in the past, this particular galaxy actually had two black holes due to a collision of some sort. And those two black holes just with time and because of the orbit that they had basically kicked each other out. In other words, they were orbiting around one another and with time just kind of flew apart. Now, I think that's actually probably the best explanation we have about how these black holes disappear because there is really no other reason for them not to be there. Now, what do you think would happen if I were to remove dark matter from here? And this is actually the big moment of truth. Dark matter is really the most important part of any galaxy. As soon as it's gone, as soon as it disappears, the entire galaxy kind of just evaporates and flies away into the abyss of space. There's no more galaxy without dark matter. Now, interestingly, one of the simulations here doesn't have any dark matter, so this is the simulation where you have a, a supernova in the galaxy, and it does have a very, very nice looking spiral galaxy, even with a bar and everything, that represents our own Milky Way. If I were to remove the supermassive black hole from this particular galaxy, and in this case it's the Milky Way sort of representation, Notice how, without this particular supermassive black hole, this galaxy just turns into like a ring. Now, here's an interesting part. We've actually observed galaxies that look like this. There are actually pictures of several galaxies that seem to have this ring-like shape in the middle. Why? Well, maybe just maybe for the same reason, that they don't have a central black hole anymore. Uh, so, that by itself is kind of interesting. But notice how this is what happens when you have no dark matter, or I guess almost no dark matter, and no central black hole in the middle. So this is kind of what occurs. Now here's another simulation of a galaxy. This is actually a relatively massive and a relatively large galaxy as well. And I wanted to just kind of show you what happens if there is a black hole in the middle and then we just kind of remove the dark matter instead. And you'll see that uh, this kind of shows you how galaxies really fall apart pretty quickly without dark matter. Um, now, in terms of black holes at the center of those galaxies, pretty much all of the galaxies we, ha we found have them, but many dwarf galaxies, many small galaxies don't have central black holes. And this is actually, uh, so by this I mean A2261 BCG, is the first large or supermassive galaxy that we've seen that has no supermassive black hole. Why? Well, that's actually a good question. Uh, so one day we'll hopefully discover more of them, and one day we'll hopefully be able to explain how those black holes actually disappear. But for now, that's really kind of all we know. We know that um, most galaxies need a supermassive black hole, that, but don't have to have them. And we know that even without a supermassive black hole, a galaxy can exist just fine. And if we were to remove this particular supermassive black hole, once again, if there's no dark matter, it kind of just fl flies apart and becomes really nothing, but however, if we were to do the same uh, and just remove the supermassive black hole but actually keep the dark matter in there, it's probably not actually going to fly apart and instead become, once again, an elliptical galaxy.
And I guess this kind of goes to show that um, even though we assume that all galaxies have something really massive in the middle, that something massive doesn't have to be an actual black hole. It can be the actual bulge itself. And this bulge itself creates such a huge mass that it's enough for uh, most galaxies to use this as basically the center. And the rest of the stars and the rest of the matter just kind of orbits around it. And I'm sure dark matter also helps as well. So... That's all I wanted to talk about in this video, and hopefully you learned a little bit more about A2261 BCG. And here's actually the, the picture that we've taken of this galaxy. You can actually see the actual representation of um, 2261, also known as Abel 2661, from the Hubble telescope that took this uh, photo back in 2012. And th that's, of course, the big galaxy right here in the middle. And the smaller galaxies next to it are uh, actually closer to, to us than this one. So this is a huge, huge galaxy. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. Hopefully you learned something from this video, and hopefully you'll subscribe if you still haven't, and share this video with someone who enjoys watching space videos and wants to learn more about the universe, space, and science using video games. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Come back tomorrow to learn something else. Space out, and as always, bye-bye.